for a second. Till they was going over Martha. I'm like, oh, really? Gonna hit a mystery with his old main? A power move. But nope, we're going straight into it. Grand Finals, Xeno 310. Tilde versus Mr. E. Mr. E having to reset this bracket. Tilde with some easy lasers here. Oh my gosh, extending just a little too far past the shield. Tilde punishing, the, punishing accordingly. All right, really good burst options here from Mr. E. But every time Tilde gets to confirm, it's just 20%. All right. To the other side of the stage, what Falco does that? Tilde does that, that's who. That's definitely one of the things that you can take advantage of uh, uh, with Smashville being such a tiny stage. And a good trade, Mr. E coming out a little ahead with that one. Catch and Tilde on the platform. Alright, Mr. E setting himself up behind the, uh, below the house. Swinging first, getting punished. Oh, a little too close for comfort from Tilde. As Mr. E floats back. Alright. Tilde trying to get some space. Fast fall forward air. Oh, Mr. E. Could have Dolphin slashed that uh, Firebird, but that's all right. Still dominating this neutral. Trying to get that pivot grab. Whoa! What a back air. Mr. E once more, two stocks ahead. And now one stock ahead. Thank you, Vinyl, for the resub. Vinny, thank you. Thank you so much for subbing. We love it. Keep sending us your money. Gift subs. How else are you supposed to support your locals? Coming out? Never. Please come out. Alright. Really good coverage there from Mr. E. So sliding away with that forward tilt, but looks like Tilde finally has this read. That mono platform has not been helping Tilde. Every single time he's landed on there, Mr. E has been able to punish. All right. Mr. E, very comfortable below the mono plat. And once more, Tilde's going to the other side. To safety, but not for long. All right. No spike. That Phantom Foot still saving Tilde? As Mr. E whiffs the Dolphin Slash. All right. Neutral Air 1. Is it going to convert into anything at that high percent? But a good catch from Mr. E brings us to game two. Tilde thinking really hard about what they want. We do get a Battlefield ban. We are, mm, I would say, a PS2 ban, if anything. Yes! Look at that. I'm a genius. PS2 and Battlefield are off. And then... Uh, oh, I just missed what he selected. I think we're... We're either running it back, or I think this might be small battlefield. I think this is uh, Smashville. Smash, yeah. So okay, running it back then. Running it back. Yep. Yeah. Every single time they land on the platform, that was a punish. Yeah. If you saw it once, you saw every kill. Fox. Interesting. Okay, so this is a this is like. Hmm. This is definitely one of those situations where ah, town and city. Uh, Tilde's in a unique position right now because he's coming from Winterside has the uh, has the luxury to be able to experiment with this one game uh, before getting reset. So if this works, then you know maybe we'll we'll just see a reverse 2-0, uh, and if not, then you know we'll see what happens for the next set. Now you know Fox, super fast character. Um, you know you can kind of. What is it? You want to try and like suffocate your opponent? Uh, so, you know, Falco maybe just not fast enough to deal with Lucina because, right. like, you know, she might not be the fastest character, but she's definitely not slow. And like, you know, she can definitely like put you in a lot of hard situations. Right. So Fox being able to just like move so much faster uh, might be a lot better situation. Yeah. So it's just like that, you know, just like 
tracking rolls and stuff. A little bit easier to do with Fox. Um, Definitely. And if Mr. E is swinging first, it's going to put Tilde in, a, in an advantageous position every single time. And we're already seeing, you know, Tilde now taking the first stock. Before, in the previous game, uh, E took the first two stocks at the beginning of the game. Uh, so it was definitely Tilde uh, playing a, a real uphill battle. Now we have a lot more even of a set. Um, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. yeah, doesn't mean you can attack that shield freely, though. As you can see, Mr. E getting punished for throwing the first hits. No drag down. Not that early. Yeah. Little known fact, this is the same voice actor as Star Fox 64. He's been voicing this character for years and years and years, and he's never going to stop. That's cool. Super cool, actually. I remember there was a whole controversy of like, oh, ooh, he ooh. sounds different in Smash 4. It's like, yeah, I love it's been Nerd like 20 Fox. years. I love Nerd Fox. Yeah, Nerd Fox is great. The fact that they made him less nerdy in this game, it's like, come on, bro, be yourself. It's okay. Yeah, he, he sounds is ashamed. A nerd. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so, you know, till they. Th this is pretty even My just because God. of like how much of a glass cannon Fox can be. Uh, he's a yeah, super light character, this. but, you know. Dancing around everything. Mr. Uh, e unable to get any sort of hits. No hit. confirm, no shield pressure. Ooh, you Finally. gotta attack those. All right, what do we see for an edge trap? Nothing. Oh, oh gosh, up that smash. up smash. Careful. I mean, just trying to catch Mr. E jumping in. Nice. But you know right. what? Throw caution to the wind, getting that back air. Up one whole stock. Tilde looking so confident this game. Mr. E definitely a little flustered. But you know what? Bringing down the last stock situation. Yeah, so um, this is actually really interesting because, like, you know, Tilde is going to have, like, a little bit more information on the, the E Lucina, right? And now E is, like, kind of adjusting to and, and like, taking in that information of the Tilde box, right? Right. And so, like, the fact that this is already, like, kind of even, like, granted, the Falco didn't seem to be much competition for E. However, wow. yeah, that fox you know, showing up and proving, hey, you don't have to worry about my Falco. My fox is the real menace. The the one thing I'm worried about is because of how even that was and like how much more information Tilde had versus Lucina. This means that there's still like if he's gonna stick with Fox, right? Depending on the stage, right? Yeah. Like if we if we see like a, a battlefield or whatever, right? Then like obviously go Falco. But we are gonna go to Smashville. Um, I would stay Fox. So yep. you stay Fox, and the the interesting thing is is now like you know if E is able to adapt to that, right? Like, is Fox going to put the same caliber uh, up against Lucina, like for for the long run? It, yes. it, it worked in that first in that first game, uh, but now we have to see what what kind of uh, like he's got to keep it going. Right now, Mystery really has to get these early gimps here. I mean, once we have that offstage situation, it's like okay, go 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 go. And Mister E guessing right every single time. Because yeah, like, um, you know, till they got rid of FD and PS2. Um, oh, that. Okay. No, no, yeah, nice. Make it in the forward air. Wow. That's gonna be maybe that. No. Is not. Nice. Man. Wonderful recovery. That counter sucks. All right, Ooh. there we go again. Jeez. Mr. E definitely a little frustrated that that didn't kill after the third I, attempt. I gotta say that 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 fox recovery is was definitely like heavily Falco uh, inspired <laughs> because like that kind of angle is not something that we see very often in like ultimate for like fox recovery and stuff like that. So yeah. like really good job oh. of like being aware of oh nice what? of the Lucina counter and just going right past it. So sad. Please buff. I right, really good shield breaker to just cover options. Mr. E trying to bait Tilde into swinging first. I feel like I, w I still kind of like don't know if I agree with the fact that that Tilde got rid of uh, FD and PS2. I would have probably gotten rid of FD and here. Yeah. Um, I mean, then again, Hollow Bastion is also like right oh, there, yeah. and it's a little bit spooky. However, you know, Fox being able to like chain up airs uh, because of like the normal ceiling, because this ceiling is taller than FD, uh, <laughs> might actually would have been a little bit beneficial. So, oh, yeah. I still, I still kind of think I stand by like, get, don't let them come back here. Exactly. But, Especially after that first performance. Yeah.
And we're, we're just seeing like this this juggle, uh, you know, just because like just, just taking advantage of that little house. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, oh wow. But untackable. What a situation. Holy shit. All right, Tilde. Oh my gosh. Is this a little bit too little, too uh, too late? Definitely Ooh, not. Might be. Might be with that kill. Never count Tilde out. Mister, are you looking for this reset? Grabbing air. A whole stock to play with. Okay. And Tilde's got this read. And remember, you know, this is still, like, set one, right? This yes. is reset point for, for E. And Tournament point for Tilde. Tournament point, right? So, like, you know, it, right now it's looking... You know what? Uh, Tilde's been maintaining stage control pretty well this last stock. I say that as he loses it immediately. But... <laughs> Mr. E is not able to keep it going, so actually, never mind, I'm still right. So, <laughs> here we go. Uh -oh. Now we have a potential juggle situation. Ooh, Mr. E, e trying to read that, come down. Grab center. All right, good double slash to get out. Here, here comes, yep, this is like the regular state, uh, the, the, the Lucina smash roll, like. All right, uh, both trading. They both, both have make their it back. coming back. Ooh, good downer to get back on stage. Looks like we're going to reset. This is a strange recovery for nope. Fox. I love the fact that he went for the other side. Oh, the forward still takes it. Mystery e has reset the brackets. Great spacing by Mr. E. Uh, we'll see if that holds look, true. Look at, look at the thinker over here. Yeah, what, what are they thinking? Can we get the can we get the mics? Yeah, let's get let's get his, uh, his internal thoughts. No, I do I do need to set up those mics. I'll, I'll set them up for. Yeah, for what Saturday. happened to them? I missed them. It's just whenever we travel, it's like one of those things that we kind of like don't set up. Ah, the, oh, he wanted to see rock paper scissors. Who wants to strike it first? It is a new set, so yeah. it is totally valid to say like, hey, let's let's start it over again. All right. Well, it looks like I told him, it was like, no, 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 you strike first. I don't know about that. Sometimes I want to strike second. Striking two stages versus one. Sometimes preferable. All right, where are we going? Mario Circuit? Magic Cat Arena Firefox? Town and City. Interesting. So this was the the stage that Tilde took his first game uh, on E with Fox. And it looks like we're starting off this uh, true finals with Fox. Falco is being benched. Tilde playing to his Twitter handle, Tilde Fox. Here we go. True finals. Right here at Xeno 310. Yeah. All right, what we're going to see here, Tilde using really good use of those platforms. Oh, no grab once more. Look at Dancing Blade. Misery with the minor pop off there. Every single time those hits. I really wish they had struck with the tablets because I really want to see what they got rid of to, to end up going here. Because right? like I definitely think that, you know, like Tilde's definitely opting to try and get as much space as possible. So like I'm imagining his honestly, if I had to guess what his strikes were, it's probably FD and Smash Bros. Yeah. Oh no. Fantastic Tilde. start by Tilde. Right, momentum is definitely in their favor. Until they did not fight their way through winners to lose to Mr. E. Not like this. Ooh, ooh. All right, Mr. E just blowing through those lasers. Good back air. Throwing Fox off stage. Uh-oh. Oh, and a good catch on that platform. But yeah, see, like this was kind of what I was talking about though, right? Because like, you know, while while Tilde Fox is doing well, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, E won, won the set, right? And right. it's just like, the more we see, like, it, we just have to see how well Tilde is able to keep this Fox, like, fresh. Uh, you know, because, like, I, I I assume, you know, I don't know how much Tilde is playing Fox, like, what, uh, like... Compared to Falco? Compared to Falco, you know? Like, Might be obviously, the Falco for next game if Fox doesn't do it here. Well, that's the thing, right? If you get the counterpick advantage, this could work out really really well because then you have to you have to account for two stages two no. characters worth of, of, of stages uh, for your bands so if we end up going to game three uh, where Tilde has counter pick advantage leaving things open like battlefield would be ridiculous uh, for a Tilde Falco you know yeah but it looks like Tilde may just stick with Fox if this keeps going their way Mr. E on last stop yeah. That, oh that was, my god. That was such an obvious I'm going for ledge uh, sort of thing. And good good stuff on Mystery just making that read and being like, yeah, okay, you want to go there? I'm going to 
F smash you. You ain't coming back. Definitely would have been better just like go for a high strain recovery. If anything, you eat a, 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 a grab or a, you know a tilt or whatever. You're not gonna die. Right. Because like he's obviously reading that, so he's going to have to first whip the the forward smash. Anyway, last stop. All right, Mr. E. Oh my God! Evening this up with these juggles. This nice is a, stall there from Tilde. This is a really pivotal, uh, pivotal game. Uh, so you know whoever takes this is going to be in a pretty good standing. E right. beginning to turn this around. Oh my gosh, Tilde. Maintaining control of the stage. Oh, I love no. that they're returning to center, but Tilde to able to reverse breaker? it. Ooh. Okay. What are we going to do? What are we? Ooh, oh, good that's, job reset. That's it. Yeah. Beautiful. Nothing you really could have done there. God. All right. Oh, yeah. We're sticking with Fox. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, Best so winning jingle ever. We're probably going to see... Uh, we're I mean, yeah, we're probably going to see Fox for, for game two. And then, like I said, you know, this now paints a, a really interesting scenario uh, where Tilde now has counterpick advantage for game three. So then that means that... Uh, that means that, you know... E is going to have to ban accounting for two two characters. Not that I'm trying to count out Tilde for this game too. Like he could just win with a with a with a two zero. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, like there, there's a lot of layers going on here, and taking that first game is a really good job. Uh, yeah. For no, that. Tilde. Yeah, that's a little jab block there was really sealed the deal there. All right, FD and Smash Smashville are banned. These are the correct choices. Battlefield though. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank. Uh, yeah. Till they getting rid of FD in Smashville. Yeah. Good. <laughs> like. <laughs> We're sticking with Fox though. All right. No, I mean it has been faring much better against uh, Mr. Lucina. Yeah. I actually missed what stage we're going to. I believe. Is it Smashville? It is. Two, one, ah, go. the classic, the that true final sense. stage. We have peaked here. Yeah, see, you left open PS2 and, and you didn't even pick it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Also, like, you wouldn't want to pick, uh, you wouldn't want to pick PS2 versus such a fast character like Fox anyway, because that just, that just leads for, like, slower games, because uh, of just how big PS2 is. That's right. And on stream, we got to put on a show for the folks. Uh oh. Another jab block. Nice. All right. Oh no. Oh, ooh, ooh. Wow, okay. No we're we're kind of, we're kind of spaghetti. <laughs> Look. They've been playing for hours. It's the end of the tournament. Nerves are getting on there. Also, playing like playing with Fox is just like you know you you're going in overdrive. You got to play the game in fast forward. That's it's right. It's really scary stuff. Um, All right, really good air dodge for Mystery. Ooh, what are we gonna see here? Swinging for the fences ooh. and striking him out. All right, E taking the first kill on this game too. This could lead to a big lead for E. Um, Fox can sometimes struggle to kill just because of like how he has to get confirmed, right? If you just, you know, let him grab you, like he's not going to lead into anything and he has to really pay attention to like how he's going to edge guard. Mr. E finally getting the good shield breaker there from off edge. Ooh, I, I love it. Ah. Oh. Okay, evening it out. All right, Mr. E trying with the shield pressure. Oh no. Getting a little too happy with the dolphin slash. Okay, it's a good move, but not that good. A nice quick 40. Trying to close this gap as fast as he can. All right, only down 40%. All right. All right. Bait now with the dash attack. Ooh, love wow. it. Wow. Yeah. That does stop all momentum. It doesn't matter how long he has been in the game, my man will forever have the young man reactions. You are not catching off guard. And also the fact that, like, you know, the way Fox has to, like, kind of recover is just, like, you know, you go through a checklist. It's like, oh, is he in uh, Fox Illusion? You yeah. know, let me be ready for that. And then you immediately just move on to the next step. Also, so he is a young man. He's always going to have these young man reactions. Yeah, no, forever. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it, it, once, once he gets older. I remember when he was what, a baby in, in, in Brawl, in the Brawl days. Aw, baby uh, Brawl. All right. So, E doing a pretty good job of controlling this game right now. Uh, wow. Avoiding the forward smash. We Are have they going to avoid the back there, though? We have a full stock lead, and no. what is Tilde going to do to keep control? And are we going to get uh -oh. an edge guard? No. And now E reverses it. All right, doesn't overextend. I really like that. Okay, Mystery unfortunately misspacing. They're getting grabbed. Tilde. Don't have the force to kill to happen. Tilde nope. kind of does. E keeping it uh, pretty reserved. I really like just like kind of just moving slowly towards him and just like putting him in, in a precarious situation, but not extending. Yep. And oh. just like maintaining center. No, no shield you, break. 
I'm down the smash? Down smash. Whoa. Both kills that Tilde has taken this game were with down smash. Sending at that crazy angle. Now, can Tilde turn this around? It's a bit of a tall order versus Lucina when your percent is already this high because now like all of her errant hits are gonna like kind of usually just put you in offstage situations and you have to deal with Lucina edge guarding. Right, but we do have the rage here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We have the combo uh -oh. potential. Uh -oh. no. no, that's it. Oh no, oh. no, it's still alive. That's that no rage for you, but that's it. Beautiful counter, bringing this to a game three, the final game of the set. The future is not written. Now we have an interesting situation here. All right, what are they going to pick? Can we get the uh, stage picker here? Let's see if they. All right, so he's looking through it. He's getting rid of Battlefield. Yeah, he's Good accounting choice. for Falco. Accounting yeah. for Falco. Not to mention, it's not a bad stage for Fox, too. Right. Um, yeah. Get rid of Town and City. Actually, PS2, perhaps. No, Town, town. and City. Okay. I, I, I honestly, like, he's lost every single time on Town. That's true. You don't so, want that bad mojo. For Tilde, right? Like, ooh, going to Kalos. Okay. I forget. All Is right. Kalos good for Falco? Are we going to see Falco? It's good for both Falco and Fox, but it's also not ooh, bad for Lucina. Sticking... Just because of those platforms. The other thing is that. Uh, so the interesting thing about this is that Fox, well, so the the fire moves, right? Firefox, Firebird. Um, they can, now that we have a, a pillar stage, right? They can ride it and go for tech situations. So like exactly. with, with the angles that Tilde's been going for on his recovery, right? Uh, for those like really shallow angles when Til uh, when Mr. E is going for like those those counters to just hit him, if he's able to do it at like such an angle where it turns around the counter, then he'll be able to just tech it. And then uh, if you're using tech jump with with all the time that that counter needs to play through that animation, uh, he ends up recovering and then in an advantageous position and takes stage control. Oh, yes. Oh, no. All really right. good solid there from Tilde. Man, we, we are Bra speed running these stocks. 100% on each side already. And this is what I'm talking about. Gorgeous. See? Ooh, but wasn't able to turn it around uh, too too close, too in him. And E taking the first stock. Scary situation here for Tilde. All right. We're going to take this kill. Go off stage. No. Oh, Love went it. really far Ooh. there. Oh, still makes it back, though. All the, right. The Nair sending Lucina towards the stage versus away, and that ended up, you know, kind of foiling all of Tilde's plans for that kill. But the backer finally still, taking it though. Still able to maintain stocks. that ledge guard, that edge guard, and uh, you know, take out that percent while only taking 40 damage. Very even, very close. Anyone's game. Ooh, what are we gonna do? Do we have a little mini game going on here? Yes, Not we do. Not yet. No. All right. Mr. E using Dolphin Slash to their advantage, trying to cover the platform. And that's what makes the stage scary against Lucina. Ooh. Forward just good coverage. The latent hit of the forward tilt catching the jump. That's crazy. All right, Tilde probably doing a little too much here. Unable to avoid getting oh. punished by Mr. E. Okay. All right. Now Mr. E's in the blender. This is a scary situation because like that that's that platform like height is great for for Fox Bear and Up Air, and so like you need to get out of there. <gasps> Footstool? No. Okay. Okay. Wasn't able to uh, turn it around into. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. No. What, okay. a, what an air dodge. Counter? Yeah. That's two Great for two. awareness by E to just like go for that again. And we really got to risk it all here in the last game. All right. This is such a scary situation because, like, I. Like. See, E it's is just like even. hanging in shield and just like, hang, like, you know, when you have a lead wow. versus Fox, it can be like. Depending on the matchup, like it can be really hard for him to get that kill because right. you know back air sucks. Oh my gosh! Imagine okay. if he just went for the counter. That that would have been like sick. that close to the blast zone it's with just like scary, that though. mid percent and all that rage that Lucina has right now. That would have been dumb. Uh, that actually would have ended it. But I mean, you don't want to overextend here, especially when Tilde has a character like Fox that can just bring this back. But they He's have to get airs. back on stage. God damn. Covers uh -oh, uh -oh. everything. All right. Ooh. Oh! Wow! And landing up air in the middle of it. Landing just hit two on the Fox up air, catching the roll. Don't what can incredible do this. placement! All right, Mr. E, looking to just get okay one back air, <laughs> one is... off date situation. So is Tilde. Okay. Uh oh. 
this is a really scary situation. All right, dealing with having to deal with that Lucina uh, juggle. That's not enough. No, close so though. Close Thank though. you, Battlefield uh, Blast Zones. I love, I love that. Oh, wow. baby tech. No, it's over. And Mr. E takes it. Zeno, three ten champion. God damn. That was way closer than you think. Every single time they got each other into a combo, it was just man. Who's going to be able to finish it first? How do you get out of this? That was fantastic. Whoo, sheesh. And just dropping down with that counter. Hey, it may have missed that first time they used it on Smashville, but you know what? It came in clutch on Kalos. Especially being able to turn around. Uh, turn around? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, like the counter just turned around instead of like... Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw here once more, realizing the situation, going once again for the counter. Yeah, e e realizing like he has all the time in the world to make that happen. Especially, like, so what I said, like, could be advantageous for the Pillar Sage, making it that the spaces always have a place to tech. God damn that. That. Yeah, can we, can we see that again? This was so good. That was sick. Um, frame by frame you know, here. It, it does also mean that, you know, you do have a more linear recovery. And so, like, the fact that you did it in a matchup with a character that has a counter, um, Probably not the best, uh, you know, and, and like I like you're still playing to your strengths, and that's still really good. But you know, E playing to his strengths and just knowing like I have this control here. Yep, and just catching that, not a spike. Oh, I think it bounced off the wall. That's oh. what happened. Wait, wow. it bounced? Yeah, it bounced. So look, frame by frame. Yeah, no, he, bounced. No, he just he just went out. He didn't hit the stage. No, oh, sorry, yeah, no, I, he just I, went outward. Ah, uh, I saw the sparks, yeah. and I'm like, oh, it looks like a bounce. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Both of them looking a little defeated, or at least like that was so much exertion. I mean, like it's over. <laughs> but no, congratulations was... to all of our players. Oh my gosh, Mr. E obviously coming in. For... Actually, can we see the whole bracket? Let's let's see who our uh, winners are here. Let me or see not if yet. it's behaving. Let's, let's Come on, start on. GG, please. Look, we'll dump you for challenge. We don't care. I mean, eventually. I'm curious as to why it's not working. But yeah, it's still not it's not loading. That's all, all right. right. You know what? Mystery taken first. Tilde taken second. John Numbers in a beautiful third. Followed by uh, I believe doo -doo 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 -doo, Dill and Carflow. Melly. Fawn and Raptor. Congratulations. Honestly a fantastic lineup. A small but mighty bracket of 29. Come on down, support your locals. You know you want to. Always here every single Wednesday at Xeno Zero Gaming, hosted by the wonderful House of 3000. Definitely check them out for all of your production needs. You need them for esports, you need them for community events, heck, you need them for a weirdo wedding, they got you covered. Yeah. Seven years in the business. And be sure to tweet out hashtag free HO3K. And don't forget that this Saturday, Xeno Saga 49. I can read Roman numerals now. 49, Saturday, September 23rd. Proud of you. Be sure to sign up. <laughs> We open up our doors at 1 p.m. We start, uh, I believe, Squad Strike at 3 o'clock. 2, I think. 2 o'clock. And then we have singles at 4 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. I'm not going to miss it. Dev is not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it as long as you're watching on every single channel we possibly can. Most likely the, well, definitely the Twitch, but be sure to catch the VODs on the YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to that. Follow the Facebook that will eventually get updated, and be sure to follow us on Blue Sky at House of 3000.nyc. .nyc. But uh, you have any uh, last words? This was a fantastic bracket. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for co-casting with me. Definitely gets a little exhausting when you do it on your own. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, this was this was definitely, like, a, a fun matchup for, like, you, you could tell, like, I'm kind of going, like, 100 oh, miles no, an yeah, hour. Oh, no, yeah. No, you were going yeah. great. So, yeah, no, this was really fun. Uh, great turnout. Uh, really, really some top-heavy gameplay today. Really love to see that stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the production or if you enjoy the stream, follow. If you enjoy the production, subscribe. It goes a long way. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, this Saturday for Xeno Saga. And I, I think I think that's it. So, yeah, I think that's yeah. it. You can always follow me on Twitter at Arnie Hermes. I'm on Blue Sky as well. You can follow me at Arnie Hermes there as well. I um, forget if I post there, but I should get more in the habit with uh, just things going on there. Stuff. Exactly, yeah. just doubling it up, making sure to diversify. But you know what? I'm not going to diversify my hometown. This is my local 
my favorites, along with Waypoint Warriors down the streets. Uh, so be sure to check us out on Saturday. And we will see you either on Saturday or on Wednesday at our usual hour. Peace out, everybody. Bye. Goodbye.